Hello to our Hazel Glen families. We have made it to the end of term two and the cooler weather has certainly arrived. This term we have enjoyed celebrating our community with a number of whole college events. The kinder students enjoyed their Mother's Day celebrations and we hosted a very successful Mother's Day breakfast on the 7th of May. A big thank you to the team in the canteen for all the additional work they put in to ensure that this was a beautiful event. To acknowledge Anzac Day, we held three services at the college on Wednesday the 24th of April. We also sent a contingent to the Lorimer Anzac service on the same day, and the voices of Hazel Glen and Primary Years Choir combined to sing three songs for the Lorimer Dawn service. It was an honour to be able to gather as a school community to commemorate the significance of the occasion, to pay our respects and express our gratitude to the brave men and women who have served our country. We commend our students for the way that they conducted themselves during these events. In week seven, we acknowledged Reconciliation Week across the college with a number of activities and events to help us learn and reflect on Indigenous culture and the importance of reconciliation. We took a group of students to attend the City of Whittlesey Sorry Day, hosted a parent and staff afternoon tea, and students were also invited to attend a yarning session held by Kelsey Bonds. We have completed NAPLAN testing for our students in years three, five, seven and nine, and the results will soon be available to our families. Each area of the college has also been very busy. The kinder students have enjoyed a visit to the prep playground and a walk around the primary years. They've also been very busy with their inquiry units down on the farm and walking with dinosaurs. The primary years have been busy with next year's prep students on a Ready Prep Go, Go program and have, been, have enjoyed welcoming so many parents to their assemblies. The primary years held an open morning on the 14th of May for, as part of Education Week and the students enjoyed inviting a special person to visit them at school. The Year 3 cohort embarked on an excursion to the museum for a cultural exploration and our Year 2 students visited Edendale Farm. Our secondary year students have also enjoyed a number of events since our last newsletter. Our Year 6 students were presented with their new jumpers in Week 7 and they have been wearing them with pride. Our Year 9 personal best evening took place on the 23rd of May. Many students and parents attended the evening and the student projects were of a very high standard. The Year 10 students enjoyed work experience and our Year 12 students all looked very grown up for their Year 12 formal on the 31st of May. Secondary students have also enjoyed a number of incursions including the Hope Tour, Pat Cronin Incursion and Bully Zero and have experienced lots, we have experienced lots of success with our inter-school sports. The production camp took place on the 11th and 12th of June and Mary Poppins is set to be nothing short of spectacular. The secondary year students finished this term with a secondary year's assembly last Tuesday. I reminded students to take time to read their reports, to notice strengths and areas for improvement and set goals for themselves for the term ahead. It is often the small and sustainable changes that have an impact on student outcomes. Things like attending class regularly, reading every night, making better use of class time or doing some extra revision at home. The past week has been a challenging one for our college community. When tragedy strikes a community, it is important that we come together and support each other. There is no right or wrong way to process grief. However, please remember to seek help if you need it. Over the holidays, please make sure you're there for each other. Term two has been a reminder of the strength of our college community and the power of working together. I have been humbled and honoured to be acting college principal for the past two weeks. I look forward to welcoming Mr Bailey back as acting college principal next term and the many good things that we have planned for semester two. Have a wonderful holiday, stay warm, and we look forward to seeing you all back at school on Tuesday the 16th of July.